Welcome back, everyone. This is the 6th of July, and uh, we're looking at our due dates calendar. What we have are the swivel stop, and the swivel stop will be due for our final grade at 11.59 p.m., and the offset flange for verification is due at 11.59 p.m. today as well. Those two things, and you can see that I went ahead and popped in the offset flange for final will be due at 11.59 on Thursday. So if anyone has any questions about that before you turn in for your final grade, you can ask after class, you can uh, get some time before you, well, after our class next, next time that we meet, which will be on Thursday. Today we're gonna to talk about the alignment guide and that's still in unit two. And in unit two, you can see that we finished the offset flange and the alignment guide is the next one. And with the alignment guide, when we create the model, we're gonna be sharing sketches to extrude uh, two different depths of extrusions. We'll be mirroring in a sketch, which will be the first time that we've done that, I think. And we'll have extrusions, a simple hole, and a simple hole on an angled face. And we know that when we have a cut on an angled face, it, it gives us a, a weird perception of that cut. And we have to have a true shape of that hole or a cut. And sometimes we can do that with an auxiliary view, which I'm just going to show you. And then sometimes we can do that just with a local breakout. And this is the first time that we're going to have a sketch that is attached to a view in our drawing. And it has to be that way because that, that's going to show that view uh, on that drawing. Or I'm sorry, it's going to attach that geometry of that sketch to that view so that it knows where and how to cut down into that part. The other thing that we're going to have that we're going to attach a view with is going to be a symmetry line. So we're going to use symmetry in this. When we mirror a sketch, we could use symmetry in it, and we're going to talk about that. So you can see that we have a replication of the dimensions and the ASME standard. But the, this one explains the GD and T for the alignment guide and a little bit further, probably symmetry. So if you wanted to go over those, we'll be talking about that today. And then we're going to create a drawing for the alignment guide in that we'll have positional tolerance for our counter sunk hole. And then we'll have symmetry marks in our center line showing symmetry. And then we're going to have a localized breakout to dimension the hole on an inclined plane. We could do that or we could have what we call an auxiliary view. And I'm going to show you what that looks like. Um, and of course, this is your assignment folder. Inside your assignment folder, you have your upload for verification, your check print, and for your final grade. Okay. 